Welcome back YouTube, it is Jafer, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new mouse pad from Asus Republic of Gamers, and that is the Scabbard 2. Now this is the sequel from the original Scabbard that came out back in what, 2016, 17, with the Cordura material. This is not going to have that same material. This is a coated cloth pad, and we're going to go ahead and take a look and see why they went in a different direction this time. Let's get started. Scabbard 2 is going to run you $49.99 and it comes in your standard large desk mat box. It does unravel completely flat though. Once I did lay it on its surface so there was no issues with having to deal with any bubbles or any weird creasing or anything like that. It measures in at 900 by 400 and it is 3 millimeters thick on a coated surface. Using a very small edge work design which I love, uh, the anti-fray flat stitch edge is something that I want to see more of with other mouse pads as it's not at all abrasive on my arm or when I'm wearing long sleeve. It's actually something that is almost not even noticeable as if there was no stitch edge to begin with and we need to see that more with other mouse pads. The three millimeter thickness is sufficient enough for stopping power if you are someone that kind of drives your mouse into the surface and you have your standardized bottom rubber grip that does offer sufficient grip to keep the mouse pad from moving. After putting ample time on this, I will say the surface is rather inconsistent. The coating just isn't there all the way across the board. There is a lot of abrasiveness with the X and Y axis. It just is not as smooth as other coated surfaces that I've used in the past, especially the very praise upon uh, GP4. The benefit to this though is that it does have that coating designed specifically for that clumsy gamer on their drink or their food that might spill where the coating on this is not designed for your high performance needs. All right, so now that we've established that the coating on this mouse pad is not designed to give you any edge in performance, it's really for durability as they're marketing it as. Well, they're calling it a military nano grade coating. And I feel like companies love to throw around the use of military grade just to give the emphasis of durability. And honestly, there's only one way to find out if that's true. And that looks like it passes as it's simply just rusting on the surface. It's not being absorbed in any way. You guys should see it moving. That's pretty cool. So, all right, so it passes the test of water and it wipes right off. It is a little cold from the water, but it's not damp. Throw some hot sauce on this, cause you know, what if I'm eating some burritos and I get tilted in Valorant? Okay, you can see where it's puddling as well. It doesn't look like it's being absorbed in any way. That's good. We'll wipe that off and it does not leave any residue at all. And so it grows, that looks like a dirty diaper. All right, so now next, we're going to go ahead and it says it's oil resistant and we're just going to go ahead and oops my peanut butter and jelly sandwich just fell all over the place and here I am with peanut butter and jelly on my desk. Let's go ahead and wipe this up and let's see if it comes off cleanly. And I do see a little bit of oil residue but it's not absorbed. I don't have Doritos but I placed Place some uh, Lay's Flamin' Hot Dill Pickle Chips, which are fantastic, and I spilled some, and oh man, all that rage just really got to me. So, now we got a bunch of crumbs everywhere. Let's see how well this cleans up with any dust. And you can see a little bit of oil from the potato chip, but there is no dust. So that looks good right there. For the most part, it looks like this passes the test. Uh, you know, some of that oil residue concerns me a little bit. There's your test on your scabbard too. All right, folks, so in conclusion, do I recommend this mouse pad? Yes and no, it, it's for a specific audience. It's for the folks that are clumsy, that are casual, they're not looking for an overly expensive, high performance, large desk pad. Uh, that's going to be used for any competitive gameplay. This is definitely something for the casual market, which is completely fine, and something where if you're occasionally spilling something on your desk or you're doing it often, this might be the perfect desk mat for you. 
And lastly, I did manage to clean up that oil residue that was left behind. I just grabbed some rather um, mixture of water and vinegar and it cleaned up just fine. So yeah, all in all, I would say that, you know, the marketing behind this with the surface protecting it from any oil and water definitely does serve as justice. Until next time, I'm Jafer. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the content, please throw a like. And of course, a subscription is always grateful. Until next time, you guys have a good one and stay safe.